Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermist Lure Company and today what we'd like to do, I'm here with Phil, we're going to share three tips with you on spinning reels, what you should look for when buying a spinning reel. And uh, right off the bat, let's talk about uh, the instant anti reverse, eh Phil? Okay, sure. Now, what you want to look for in a reel, when you turn the handle and you stop, you shouldn't be able to reel backwards. There should be no play at all in that reel. And if you can see here, this reel stops on a dime. And that's exactly what you want. Whereas the reel that Phil has, there's some play in there. Show that. I don't know if you can hear that, that clicking, but it's, it's very sloppy. It's not a very good quality reel. Not like the one Evil has there. So there you have it. This one's got a nice, solid, instant anti reverse. And what that means is, when you set the hook, it's an instant hook set. But more importantly, when you have that little bit of play in the reel, um, you're shocking your gears every time you set the hook. So eventually, you're going to burn your reel up. So a cheaper reel, for sure, you'll pay less money for it, but it's not going to last you as long and not going to be as effective on the water. Now, the second thing you should look for is your drag system. What do you think, Phil? What's the better drag system? First, Front or rear? Personally, I like the front system. It's, uh, it's a lot closer to the spool, so it's a better, it's an efficient um, drag compared to the rear. That's, exact, that's exactly right. The front drag system, you're controlling the spool right there. And very, very important, you can check when you, when you turn the spool, you'll hear if it's very fine increments or if it jumps in, in larger segments. So you want a you want a drag system that the the front control has got very very fine increments and you can feel that silky silky smooth drag when you pull on the line your drag shouldn't jump it should come out nice and silky smooth and that's the key to a good drag system right there and I guess the third thing we should talk about are ball bearings you hear all this talk about ball bearings on a reel what do you think Phil for ball bearings. Uh, I would say a minimum five ball bearings. Uh, obviously, the more the better. You know, you're right, Phil. Like, you can get one to three ball bearings, I'm going to say, are entry level reels. Right. Uh, a five ball bearing reel is definitely a, a higher performing reel. This particular one happens to be 10, but once you get over five, it becomes hard to tell the difference between, you know, five, six, or seven, right. or eight <laughs> to 10 but uh, definitely a higher performance reel. Yeah. And those are the three key tips to keep in mind when you're picking out a spinning reel. The only other thing I'll mention folks is, you know, I see some people with these great big reels on there. Keep in mind what you're going for. If you're going for like we are today, we're going for smallmouth bass, a small reel like this is absolutely perfect. They're not gonna run uh, 100 yards, but if you're going for carp, for example, yeah. or if you're going for a striped bass and salt water, then of course you want a bigger reel. But a small reel, extra comfort all day long, it's the way to go. Sure. So folks, keep those few tips in mind next time you're picking out a spinning reel and you'll have a much better day on the water. Can I fish with that one? You got it. <laughs> there you go, Rob. That was a good hit. Did you see him bailing out of the water? This is a good fish. Feels like a decent one anyway. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> they, look big. they always look bigger in the water, don't they? Okay, Rob, he's all yours. There we go. Ah, oh. not a bad sized bass. It's a good fish. Right there. Oh, lip lock them. Not a bad one, eh, Rob? No, not bad at all. Okay, you're next. Hopefully. We'll get him back in. 